Bruins win 5-1 against the uh, on the road against the against the Detroit Red Wings. Welcome back to Into the Den. I'm your host Jay Freeman, and recording this and recording this now uh, during the second in, intermission of the uh, Bruins and what uh, of the Bruins Wild game on uh, on January sixth. Yes, this is being recorded uh, four days uh, four days late. I just got back from a uh, from a road trip, but that's beside the point. Uh, Recording this now. Uh, I forgot in that I forgot in the previous episode against the Sabers about the game against the Sabers on New Year's Day. Uh, I forgot uh, something. Uh, I forgot something cheesy that I was uh, that uh, I was uh, that I was telling myself specifically. Do not forget uh, to put this in the episode. Oh, and it. Uh, yeah, it's <clears throat> it is a uh, it is a Bruins parody of 22 by taylor swift i wish i could play it on guitar but unfortunately uh i am uh, i am honestly quite quite bad at playing the song on guitar uh maybe eventually i'll be able to uh, to play it but anyway it Feels like a perfect night. Dress up like champions and make fun of the sabers. Uh oh, uh oh. It feels like a perfect night to come back from COVID and win on New Year's. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, we're wheeling, sniping, celebrating at the same time. It's mystical and magical, oh yeah. Tonight's the night that we forget about the standings. It's time. Uh oh. I don't know about you, but we're feeling 22. Everything will be all right if we beat the golden blue. You don't know about us, but we hope the fuck you do. Everything will be all right if we just keep winning in 22. Ooh. 22. Ooh. Told you guys it was going to be eh, corny as, as hell and stupid. Anyway, Bruins win 5 1 against the, uh, against the Red Wings. Back to back to the actual game. Uh, uh, this was this was honestly a weird game because is either right before or right after or it. Bruce Cassidy revealed that he would be he would be breaking up the top line, the perfection line, in Pasenak Pasenak Bergeron Marchand, and he revealed that he would be moving Craig Smith up to the top line and Pasenak down to the down to the second line and honestly took him long enough. I know that people love this line. I, I really like this. I really like this line. And, and, and yeah, it's, it's fun to, it's fun to see these three absolutely wreck shit. But to be, but to be honest, was, was this line really, was this line's cohesion really noticeable in the first 27 games of the season? I don't exactly think so. Oh, I mean, sure. I mean, sure. The bro- I mean, sure. Freaking. I mean, sure. Marshan's doing well. Every The Bruins just won. It seems like. It seemed like it was a good uh, line, but Pasternak had already Pasternak uh, and Taylor Hall have both said that they really like playing with each other, or uh, in their limited experience playing with each other on, or uh, with Marshan being uh, gone and with COVID earlier uh, this year. Uh, but anyway, we go into the uh, anyway we go into uh, this. This game and uh, and not uh, and not far into it, we get a we get a pretty bad uh, we get a pretty uh, like what the hell is going on in goal. I mean, sure, Tyler Bertusi is 
is great and 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 good on him for and for getting that net front deflection for being on that post to the to just poke it in in but yeah our defense i we we kind of needed to cover him we had everybody to to the side of the net that Tyler Bertuzzi was not on and Tyler Bertuzzi is kind of one of the one of those guys that you can't let uh, that you cannot let have a clean look look and he had all day he had all day but thankfully he it seemed uh, it seemed like that that was that was the end of the uh, Red Wings night for uh, because they looked rattled. They they looked so out of, of sync. I mean, I mean, I know that it's really hard to. I know that when you allowed two goals right at two goals, two consecutive goals, it's not really that. It's kind of a okay. That's not really what I want. That's not really how I wanted to play the game. Uh. Uh, on that third goal, when uh, when Hall uh, makes a cross ice pass to uh, is to uh, to McAvoy uh, to chip it up into the uh, to uh, to slap it in in and uh, and McAvoy meets him behind the in the net it uh, pull, pulls him that uh, dips him and um, pulls him back up and pa- uh, and. And shakes him on the head. That's that's when I kind of knew. Yeah, that this one's this one's in the books. Looks, looks. I honestly, I'm kind of I'm impressed with uh, with how Taylor Hall's been doing in the past few uh, in the past few games, and I, I really hope that this continue that this continues. But also Eric well, Eric Hollow with that uh, with that mean uh, with that mean breakaway. Uh, and going bar down with it, that was amazing. Thing, thing. I mean, Al- Alex Nadelkovich, It's it's rare that you see that dude uh, say, "Hey, we're gonna." Eh, hey, it's it's strange to see that dude giving up five goals, but at the same time, and what is he supposed to do? Oh, they. Oh, and and it's I don't know whether, and I can't. And it's sort of one of those games where I can't tell if the Bruins are playing well or if the Red Wings are, uh, or uh, if the Red Wings are just sucking. Thing uh, usually you can tell. Well, and actually this actually now that I think about it, this game was really easy to tell. Well, uh, uh especially because it's like uh, the Re- the Red Wings uh, they went into this game. And like one, like one spot ahead of the uh, the Bruins in the division, in and with two Calder nominees, is and trust me, I'm gonna talk about another Calder nominee uh, later. Uh, I'm gonna talk about another, uh, not Calder nominee, a uh, Calder uh, contender. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm uh, I'm probably gonna talk about a another Calder uh, contender later tonight. Later tonight, because because the Bruins just let him get his first goal. But that's beside the point. Uh, uh, Lucas Raymond, Moritz Sider, fantastic players. I love I love both of them. I think both of them are going to do great things in the NHL. But yeah, th- this team just could just could not find any sort of. Uh, Neither of these guys could find any sort of uh, uh, any sort of consistency, and and it showed, and it felt like a a really convincing win for the Bruins. But at the same time, it was against the Red Wings, and and you could argue a little bit that they were punching a little bit over their weight. So take this take this win. And err on the side of caution. Don't uh, don't go say uh, don't go saying that oh we're we're winning the Stanley Cup now. But also don't uh, but also don't look at this win and immediately you dismiss it. Yeah. 
is a uh, we deserve to win. This is definitely one game that we deserve to win in. And you can discredit it by saying it was against the Red Wings. That you can you can say that all you want. But the Red Wing, but the Red Wings have been doing not bad this year and uh, uh, and uh, they need to uh, and the Bruins needed uh, some sort of statement win over it a team that's doing better than them in the standings. That's that's sort of what they needed. And that is exactly what they got. And I think that is going to be... Actually, I don't know if that's going to be it. Because uh, I have to... I sort of have to go back to the... to the thing of like 60-minute games. It was honestly... This was one of the few. This was this was this one instance where it did feel like we played a need a full sixty minute game. The Bruins definitely were the better team in this in this game. So what I want, so what I want, and us to play at some point is a sixty minute game of him against a team that is against a team that is much better than us because. Uh, because again, I'm watching the Bruins play the Wild right now, and I can tell you right now, they are not doing that. Uh, they are not doing that. They already uh, they already surpassed their season record for, or uh, for they are they already surpassed their season high for uh, for uh, for penalty minutes in the game. But that is it for tonight's episode. Of, uh, this is that is it for uh, this episode of Into the Den. Thank you all so much for uh, watching. Quick like if you like. Quick subscribe if you really like. Down below is still the all well, the GoFundMe for for Mr. Er, for Mr. Jake Tebow to uh, to help uh, to help the recovery of uh, the kid who uh, who was left paralyzed by uh, by a free hockey by a free hockey accident and and tell your friends that uh, that like the Bruins aren't that like maybe. Maybe sometimes you just have to take a win and run with it. And this this was definitely one time where you had to.